don't know what that means with the bathtub. <laughs> I, I I don't know what this is about. I'm I, I'm I'm concerned. Hi there, welcome. I have some news. Well, I mean, I have some news. We have some Honkai Star Rail news. And uh, I kind of wanted to uh, cover them real quick right here. So that's what we are going to be doing. Essentially, there has been a few blog posts uh, that has been uploaded on Hoyo Lab, Twitter, all the good good. So I'm going to go over them because there are some changes and upcoming features that are going to be very interesting. So first and foremost, Haya Trailblazer. I wonder why they say Haya. I like Haya to be honest, but like, are they, are they supposed to be like a certain person? No. Okay. Anyway, Haya Trailblazer in this issue, we'll be bringing you a preview about all the gameplay updates coming to version 2.7, pure fiction game mode. So we are getting a big update for Pure Fiction. They're going to be changing essentially how the mechanics functions. So here we go. Since Pure Fiction went online in version 1.6, lots of versions updates have passed. Now the Express crew anticipates an update to come for Pure Fiction with version 2.7. The new Grit game mode. So Grit has been a, a mechanic that has happened in a myriad of um, combat events essentially you have a mechanic if you follow the mechanic you accumulate grid points when you have enough grid points you get big buffs so that's how it has been before let's see if this is how it's gonna be here after the pure fiction update every period stage effect will turn into different grid mechanics activate grid mechanics in battle to accumulate grid value after occurring sufficient grid in combat Characters will enter a surging grid state for a period of time. While in the surging grid state, characters will obtain powerful buffs. So this is exactly how the grid has been working so far. So essentially, we are moving away from the concordant truce phase. No, wait. No, no, no. Th this is a new thing. But we're moving away from... Okay, hey, this pure fiction, if you do, like, follow-up attack, uh, this is gonna happen. Good job. Or, like, uh... An overall buff they just applied during the phase of the pure fiction now we have a system where it's like okay if you follow the direction you get recompense essentially right so this is very cool in my opinion uh, because this opens first of all way more uh, it's more interactive right because it's not like oh here's the buff enjoy because like that's kind of that's a little bit boring and then you get to pick like one of the three potential option it's eh you know um and meanwhile here that kind of means that you also have more options to play around because when there is a buff for dot character specifically uh it might be a bit rough meanwhile here hopefully there are more general potential greed systems and so you can use a more a wider variety of characters. Now, obviously, it's still gonna work in a lot of waves, etc., etc. But I feel like this is probably gonna bring uh, more uh, potential character that are gonna be efficient here uh, in Pure Fiction. At least I hope. Uh, you can accumulate grid correctly via via various grid mechanics and synergize your buff to deliver crushing damage while in the surging grid state to more efficiently defeat enemies. Lovely. Enemy mechanic adjustment. Additionally. The Express crew has also adjusted certain enemy mechanics in Pure Fiction. When engaging in combat after the update, the non-boss enemies will also continuously refresh. Okay. Aside from dealing direct damage, you can decrease the HP of boss enemies by a certain percentage through defeating non-boss enemies. Defeating non-boss enemies efficiently will quickly reduce the boss's HP. After defeating the boss, the next wave will begin. So essentially, Currently in Pure Fiction, uh, there is that system where you have waves of enemies. There is a certain fixed amount of enemies that are present, and you have to kill all of them. And eventually, there is wave with like one or two enemies, 
it does happen sometimes when you haven't ended up clearing the wave super efficiently. So you have well, like one enemy or two enemy, it's really, really annoying. Here we have one boss and then mobs that keep on spawning, which means that you have a wider variety, a, a wider, multiple ways to actually defeat the wave. Either you focus the boss, or you can kill the mobs, the trash mobs. Or you can obviously deal AoE damage and hit both of them at the same time, right? But this is very nice because it means that like you won't have an awkward situation where like you have an ulti ready but there's only like two enemies on the field. That has tend to happen like very often uh, in my personal experience. Um, so here this is very nice. This also means that like some characters, maybe like Scylla, will have like more value here because she can just focus on the trash mob for example although i think it still has a lot of issues but uh, you know what i mean now you don't necessarily have to only kill the big boss you can deal with the big boss by focusing on the trash mob i think this is great news uh objectively speaking this means when you play pure fiction after the new update you won't just run into a situation where you find a single boss enemy standing around alone on the battlefield or moments where leftover non-boss enemies cause boss to be undefeatable exactly what i meant so there we go this is great Point accumulation distribution adjustment. After the Pure Fiction update, your blazer will obtain points based on the amount they reduce from the boss enemy's HP. Additionally, on the basis of the content update above, the scores you can obtain for beating the first, second, and third enemy waves will be 8,000, 16,000, and 16,000, respectively, in Pure Fiction. The maximum score and points needed to obtain the various stars rating will not be changed for Pure Fiction. Okay. Pure Fiction is one of the three permanent game modes, as such, the Express Crew greatly values Trailblazer's feedback. We hope that the update Pure Fiction will offer Trailblazer's new experiences and also welcome Trailblazers to share their thoughts and responses with the crew. Thank you for your continued support, Trailblazer. Awesome! So, this is great changes overall. I think this is gonna be just better. This is gonna be better. I think it's gonna allow more characters to be able to interact with the game mode. Um, and I, I think this will also make it less frustrating in certain circumstances. So I think this is fantastic news. Now, we've had um, a proper Voice of the Galaxy, which is what they call the uh, dev talk, essentially. Uh, I'm not going to talk about everything uh, in greater detail. I'm just going to go over. There's a lot of text here. Um, but essentially, we are getting a few major things. First and foremost, the event light cones are gonna be obtainable from Hertha shop, right? This is great. So if you're like me, you didn't get the chance to obtain um, before the, tu the tutorial mission start, for example, amongst other things, you can now get it from the Hertha shop. You'll have, obviously, um, you will need to exchange them with the, the resource that you can get uh, from the Divergent Universe, or whatever it's called, um, Simulated Universe, and uh, you'll be able to get those, so this is great. And obviously, Future Light Cone will also be added here. I think this is fantastic, reduces the amount of FOMO, I think it's great news. Now, moving on, we are, when is this coming out? After 2.6, so this is going to be during the wrap-up patch. Next, Trailblazer Room, already in progress. We are going to get multiple things happening um, that's going to be added during uh, the upcoming patches. In, in 2.7, we're going to be getting a party car for the Astral Express. We'll be able to, to go to this party car. We'll be able to change Pom Pom's costume. So Pom Pom will have multiple outfits that you'll be able to change. And on top of this, your in-game friends will be able to visit your um, Express, essentially. So, no, wait, no, it says not even express visiting in-game friends. So I don't know if this means friends, as in people in your friend list, but this might just be literally like the characters. You know when your NPC join you on the car and just talk to you? Like you can talk to, I don't know, like Fushuan and stuff like that. This might be what it means. So it might not be a bad friend list. Uh, anyway, we'll see. On top of this, we will also... After 2.7, be able to unlock our room. Finally, we are going to have our own room on the Astral Express on D. So um, we'll essentially just be able to unlock it and decorate it, essentially. Uh, we'll be able to collect some soul toys. We can place dolls, posters, and maybe even more. Um, apparently, we'll be able to interact with some furniture 
like quot 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 sorry not quot 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 dot 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 the bathtub um i don't know what that means with the bathtub <laughs> I, I i don't know what this is about i'm i i'm, I'm concerned <laughs> but uh yeah okay good stuff uh so this is nice i mean a new a new it's nice to see the astro express being expanded i i doubt it's gonna have a lot of you know uh, things to do in there, but this is pretty nice. We can change Pom Pom's costume. Pom Pom is pretty cute, so that's pretty nice. And having an own room that you can decorate, while it is not absolutely game changing, it's still nice in my opinion. It's more, you know, immersion. Uh, moving on, we will also be able to reduce uh, the size of the game by deleting past resources. So, like, deleting um, essentially like data for quests that you've already done, cinematic that you've already seen. Those kind of stuff, you can re remove them from the game. This is something they've been like working toward in all of their games, essentially. And uh, this is pretty nice, especially if you don't have that much space on your PC or your phone. This is great news. And finally, I'm not going to talk about it, but there is a Pom Poms Intel unveiling the dangerous members of the Genius Society. Essentially here, it's just, you know, it's one of those Pom Pom, like, um, newspaper issue where they kind of talk about... Um, the dangerous characters that used to be or are part of the Genie Society. Uh, so they talk about Dr. Primitive, Rupert, um, Polka Command, all this kind of stuff. Those are characters that we kind of know about, especially if you've like, paid attention to the lore given um, through Simulated Universe various modes. Uh, so those, those are characters that are well known in the world. And you can get a lot of uh, lore from it, a little bit more tidbits, and um, this is pretty nice if you are into that. I'm not going to be reading all of this because I think, like, if you're interested, have a look yourselves. And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, there we go. That's all the information that I wanted to bring to you. I think this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, all the good good, and I'll see you next time. Bye!